Hi! So this is like a really exciting video for me because this is a three looks from Tan's solo debut and of course I have to do my first like celebrity inspired look for Taeyeon because if you even know me at all I love Taeyeon so I thought it would be kind of interesting to make this into like a day to night video as well I kind of did all of the makeup on top of each other whatever makeup I had for the beginning I also have in the end basically it's just layered on it does look a little bit crusty I'm gonna admit it looks a little bit crusty if you are doing something kind of day to night um, I think this is a really nice look so yeah I hope you enjoy this video okay so I already have my foundation eyebrows and um, lip color on I'll be listing all of the stuff that I'm using in the video as always in the description bar even if I don't mention it in the video I'll probably write it down in the description bar anyways so make sure to check that if you are curious as to what I used for the first look I'm going to be doing the very simple one where it's just the peachy color all over her lid so I'm going to be taking this peachy color in the Nana and Mimi box this color right here and I'm taking this kind of flat brush you can still use the elf brush that I used in my last video but I'm just gonna be using this one for today this is the large shader E60 from Sigma uh, in the video it looked like she had it like all over her lid so I'm gonna be and like in her inner corner so I'm gonna bring it there as well and then I'm going to be curling my lashes in preparation for the false eyelashes and the liner so with false lashes they usually curl like in I don't know how to call this like a C like this but then so you want to make sure that your lashes are curled like this as well if you just if you don't curl the ends enough then it won't um, blend with your lashes the false lashes as well so you want to make sure that the ends are curled really well because I personally I don't like to curl my lashes when I have on false lashes like I don't like to recurl them sometimes I'll crimp it together just so it sticks together but that's I don't like to curl it like hard for mascara I'm gonna use the Etude House Curl Fix I'm not gonna be too concerned about this because I am putting on false lashes put a super super thin liner using the Milani Eye Tech Extreme in liquid eyeliner my eyes are a little bit hooded like right here like right when I open my eyes that's not my the, like the end of my eye like the lash line so I have to put my liner a little bit thicker even if I'm doing like a super thin liner So I'm not going to wing it out either because in the picture she doesn't have a wing. Okay so like I said this is like a super thin line for me like when I open my eyes but my eyes are a little bit hooded so I have to put a thicker line just so that it shows. I just put on my lashes and this is what it looks like. And now just to finish it off I'm going to use this matte brown color right here. And I'm just gonna give a little bit of shading to my outer corner right here and I'm using a very soft angled brush so I'm gonna use the Innisfree Skinny Mascara and I'm gonna put it on my lower lashes Taeyeon has single lashes on her bottom that are like really short so they look really natural but I don't have that so I'm just going to do mascara so that's basically the finished look for the eyes and then for the cheeks she has like I think she has a lot of blush on well like noticeable blush so I'm going to use this one from Peri Peri it's the heart top blusher my friend Ashley bought this for me I get a lot of gifts from people well I, I think it's just because people know that I like makeup <laughs> so I'm just putting that on so I'm going to also put on this um Etude House blusher and her whole look was like very matte in some parts her 
blush looked more peach and then in other parts it looked way more pink so that's what I'm layering so this is the finished look basically for the first look she has like a pale pink lip on and right now I have this model co kitty and then she has like a brighter pink in the middle like a gradation so I'm gonna take this lipstick from nature republic and I'm just gonna pop that in the middle not too much because it looks like pretty natural so this is the finished look for the first part of the video or the first scene so I just took off the lashes right now um, I'm gonna be putting them back on it's really bad for my eyes um, but I just took them off because um, I don't want it to catch all the fallout or even if there isn't fallout it's gonna like be the eyeshadows are gonna like land on the lash so I really don't want that I want to avoid that so that's why I took it off for the next look she's at like her job or whatever as a waitress and she has on like this um, coppery kind of shadow coppery gold kind of tone so I'm going to be using this in the pony and mini box I'm gonna be using the same elf brush same elf eyeshadow brush that I used in my last video I'm just gonna put this all over my lid and from what I was looking at the photos and everything um, my screen caps and everything the shape that she has her eyeshadow is kind of it's not it doesn't go up too high and it goes out at the edge a lot and she also had this on her bottom I noticed she didn't really have an inner quarter highlight in her video most of it was um, just the shadow it's like all over wash even to her inner corner she has like a bronze shadow at the edge and only on her bottom so I'm gonna be using this the same I'm Nana Mimi Box palette and I'm gonna take this bronzy color and I'm gonna put that at the bottom lash line at the edge and at this point she does have a little um she has a little wing and her eyeliner is still like pretty thin my eyes are like crusty because of the eyelash glue <laughs> just like that super thin and I'm going to make this liner a little bit thicker on this side just to make my eyes even hers is way thinner than this but let me go with this because my eyes are too uneven for that thin of an eyeliner I'm gonna reapply mascara I'm just gonna put a coat of the skinny mascara just to like and darken the lashes get rid of any eyeshadow that might have gotten on them and for this she pretty much has the same lip it's like semi-natural but not very natural because the copper eyeshadow it can look um, different depending on the lighting like in when she was outside it looked really light but then when she was inside the restaurant and like under darker lighting it looked pretty dark and you can see the color belt better it wasn't as like washed out or whatever I don't know I hope you get what I'm saying so this is basically her work her work makeup besides the lashes she had lashes on her top and bottom but like I said I'm just gonna save myself some time and effort and not do the lashes for this part so I'm gonna head straight into the last look which is the very end where she has the pretty dark makeup now at this point her makeup is a lot darker so I am going to be taking this bronze this reddish brown color right here that I used in my last video um, and I'm gonna put that really close to the lash line and where we put that liner in the makeup she has like a lot of it looks pretty dark but it's pretty much condensed right next to the eye or the lash line 
and also it's like even darker at the outer parts so I'm gonna take I'm gonna mix these two matte brown shades and put it right at the outer and it seems like um, her lower lash line is a little bit smoked out but it's not too dark so I'm gonna take this medium brown shade and I'm gonna put it on my lower lash line it stays pretty close to her lash line like right where her lashes are I'm like looking back and forth at my reference picture and it's a little bit darker right here and she kind of has this elongated shadow shape like this I'm gonna take that reddish brown and I'm just gonna use that to make that shape of the shadow and even though her eye makeup is darkened a lot like you can see the difference um, she still has a really really thin eyeliner and using the um, dark reddish brown I think it made my eyeliner seem a little bit um, thinner but it still kept a lot of that definition I can't tell is it even can you let me know can you let me know and then I'm gonna go in with these two matte browns and I'm gonna mix them together again make this little shape it's almost like a little triangle and you wanna um, have that like connected to the liner and then making sure I don't have any more of that um, dark brown I'm gonna take that medium brown and put it right in my lower lash line like right where my lashes are I don't want to go too much lower now I'm gonna curl my lashes again to reapply the false eyelashes I'm going to go back with the liner and then just redefine that line but like only right at the lash line and the liner is supposed to be really thin so I'm just gonna kind of define like the very end of it and I don't know if you can see but um my lashes look really powdery if your lashes are like curled I feel like it catches a lot of more um, of the eyeshadow even if there isn't that much fallout so just a tip her lower lashes look really clean like her under lashes I feel like mine always looks kind of crusty because um, because I'm crusty I wanted to um change my lash I mean my lenses for every part because she's wearing different lenses for each like different place that she's shooting like at the diner or whatever she's wearing like blue lenses but it's like a little bit darker and then at the very end she's wearing like a semi gray um, light blue lens and then in the very beginning I feel like she was wearing a brown lens like a brownish hazel lens and then in the middle she was like wearing a green lens but then again it might just be like how some lenses they look different colors under different lighting I feel like um, the lips mostly stay the same but then at the very end, it gets a little bit more darker and red. So I'm using this Etude House Play 101 pencil in number 22 and just putting that in the center. This is the finished look with the lashes and everything on. This is what it looks like. Um, if I had the lower false lashes, it would look a lot better in my opinion. So this is the finished look for the last one where she's kind of like in her car driving like around the mountain I really like the way this turned out this is actually my second time filming it um, because the first time I don't know I feel like I didn't look at enough pictures and I left my lashes on so that my lashes got crusty and I look really crusty even more crusty than I do right now I really like how this one turned out I think hopefully it comes out nice on camera as well and you guys enjoy it as well I hope this was helpful and this is like my first like celebrity inspired look and of course it has to be Taeyeon because I love Taeyeon Let me know if you um, guys want me to keep doing this kind of like celebrity inspired makeup I don't really think I'm that great at makeup so um, don't expect 
too much out of what I'm gonna do or whatever. Um, I'm just an average girl. I'm not like a makeup artist or anything. I just really like and enjoy makeup. Let me know if you enjoyed this type of video. And as always, leave your request for any video and I'll get to it as soon as I can. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!